This video is brought to you by Ridge Wallet. Guys, it is 2020. Organize your life, and you know what? Start with getting rid of that small suitcase you keep in your back pocket. The Ridge Wallet is different. It's sleek, industrial, and it fits into your front pocket. It's gonna change your pocket game. Ridge Wallets hold up to 12 cards, plus all the cash that you're gonna need. Choose from over 30 colors and styles, including carbon fiber and burnt titanium. This is the best wallet you can buy. You don't just have to take my word for it because there's over 30,000 five-star reviews. I was skeptical at first, but once you try it, you will never go back to your old wallet and there's no pressure. Test it out for 45 days. If you don't love it, send it back full refund. When you decide to keep it, there is a lifetime warranty. Click the link in the description to save 10% today with free worldwide shipping and returns. Go to ridge.com slash chael. That's ridge.com slash chael. Use the promo code chael. I had brought you a story a, a number of years ago. I was doing the Joe Rogan show and Joe and I are sitting there talking and John Jones was a little bit jammed up because USADA came to the gym. John like saw them coming through the window, something along these lines. Has nowhere to go, doesn't want to see him and hides under the ring. And they stayed there and waited for him. And that's the way these things will work. They will just stay and stake out an area. So they're just waiting for him to come to the gym. John's underneath the ring. So, you know, like anything, you can't keep a secret. The word gets out. John's own teammates spread the word around. And it gets back to USADA to the point that USADA was considering getting a warrant, going under the ring forensically and collecting the urine because they did, it was like eight hours, six hours, eight hours, it was a full day. They had decided that at some point he must have had to relieve himself and that there would be urine under the ring. Now, that didn't go anywhere and they did not do those things, but that part of the story did make it a little bit more interesting. I told Joe the story and Jay denied it. John really never said much. He did deny it, but very light. Coach Wink came out very strongly and denied it, which I always thought was weird because I knew it had happened. I, I knew that this had happened. And for Wink to deny it in the way that Wink denied it, it wouldn't be as something, though, he wouldn't know. And it was just a very weird thing that the coach would even involve himself in. If the coach were asked about it and wanted to defend his athlete, it would be one thing. He went out of his way to come out and defend a story that did happen. And even though you're covering your guy, the rest of the, your guy, they know. It was just a really bizarre thing. Of, of the whole story, that was the part that I remember the most. I wonder why Coach Wink is defending this so heavily. Let it go. So. Izzy called John out on that, called him out like a week ago. And John copped to it. John said, well, let me correct you on one thing. It wasn't USADA. It was the Nevada State Athletic Commission. I had just spoke to join. Now everybody knows. And it was, it, it was just one of those deals where, how do you know he's telling the truth? I mean, right? I just feel like from a, a human psychology standpoint, we love to call people liars, but then we decide they're telling the truth when the thing we decided originally they were lying about, they're now telling in the way that we wanted them to tell it originally. Wait, what? How do you know that John isn't lying and just trolling and having a little bit of fun with Adesanya now? How would we possibly know? It's just one of those things, but people were very quick to think that John had finally made an admittance. Maybe he was having fun. I do believe he was telling the truth because I know he hid from drug testers under the ring and stayed there all day while they waited in the lobby of the gym. But it was one of these very funny things the way John brought it up. And I like the way John closed it. He goes, now everybody knows everything. And it was one of those close the book moments, right? I mean, it was like Eminem and Eight Mile when he's in the rap battle and he goes first and burns himself. So now his opponent has nothing to roast. You totally disarm your enemy. This is where the expression, the truth will set you free. That is why that expression was created and exists. There's really not a lot to do now. We could have fun telling people John hit her ring from testing commission. Not anymore. I mean, John kind of just took all the fun out of it. 